Hey, what's up, guys? So, today I just wanted to, um, I was going to touch base with you guys, and uh, it's a topic that just, it's sort of been on my mind. I, I, I received a message from a subscriber, and we, and we were just going back and forth, talking about, um, you know, just decisions, decisions in life, how you come up with these decisions, you know. Um, especially when you talk about, you know, um, making life-changing um, uh, decisions. Um, and what makes you make those, you know. And we get going back and forth, and it all narrows down to a cliche, guys. Um, life is short, you know, and it depends on how you look at it to really grasp the straws uh, of what I'm talking about. Um, uh, I mean, for example, you know, they say that, you know, retirement age is 67. Um, they say the average person, you know, given natural causes, lives to be about 78. And um, you work for about 50 years. So that means when you get ready to retire, guys, you're looking at about 11 good years, maybe, you know, because at that time, let's face it, guys, you know, <laughs> you know, things change, the body changes, the mind changes, and um, just the idea of thinking, oh, man, if I'm going to retire, I want to run around and do all these things, eh, it doesn't really usually happen like that. So the point came back to decisions, and I was explaining to this subscriber, um, you know, things in my life that were uh, going on, that were occurring, that brought me to my decision. Um, you know, some personal, but um, for the most part, it was uh, a point in life where um, the decision chose me, if that makes sense. Um, and just going back and forth, guys, not to drag this out, but we were talking about what drives us to uh, finally make a decision in life, you know? And I mean, is it like this whisper of um, intuition, uh, uh, the weight of logic, um, or this push of circumstance? You know, sometimes, sometimes it's just the, the, the pain of um, staying the same um, that just becomes too great for, for some people and um, because of that pain I mean in a sense we're forced to change other times it's the promise of something um, better that beckons us calling us telling us that hey I'm here if you want it there is more to life than what you're doing. Um, or maybe it's the accumulation of, you know, those small, intricate moments. And the best way to explain it is like um, uh, grains of sand, you know, slipping through this hourglass, you know, and uh, until the weight of our desires or, or frustrations uh, uh, become, uh, you know, too great uh, uh, to ignore um, and that pushes us or perhaps it's just that sudden you know realization that our goals and our values no longer um, align with our actions and we're compelled to in a sense uh, course correct um, but you know wh whatever the reason uh, decision making um, it's a delicate balance of heart and head, guys. Uh, fear and courage uh, of uncertainty and uh, conviction. Um, I think it's the moment when we finally say um, enough or yeah or, or, or right now. Um, it's the moment when we choose, and the key word is choose, to move forward, to take that leap 
of faith or, or to embrace, embrace uh, uh, this new chapter. So my question to you guys is when you think about making a change in your life or um, thinking in your mind, I want something different. I want to do something different. I want to be someplace different. Um, what is it that sparks your moment of decision? Is it that gentle nudge or just like this loud uh, wake up call? Um, that occurs. I know for me, it was just my decision left me without a decision, if that makes sense. Um, all the stars were aligned. Everything was just like, hey, what are you waiting for? You know, I'm giving you a chance to uh, enjoy life, get out there and do what you want to do. Um, and guys, let me tell you something. When people talk about retiring or making these changes. Guys, retiring doesn't just mean, oh, I'm just going to stay in bed as late as I want. Uh, you know, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just, guys, retirement is doing whatever the hell you want to do. And you don't have to be 50. You don't have to be 40. You don't have to be 30. It's at the point in your life, guys, where you say, I'm taking control and this is what I want to do. I want to be happy with my life. And when you get to that point, whatever it may be, the decision ultimately chooses you. But guys, regardless, Whatever it may be, may it guide you toward your own growth, your transformation, uh, and afford you a life that just truly, I mean truly, guys, reflects your soul's deepest desires. And again, it's just been weighing on me. And when we talked, and, and this individual was actually um, contemplating moving to Thailand, you know. And I said, hey, I know it's a big step. You know, many people have taken it. Um, and you, you, whether it's Thailand, whether it's Spain, whether it's Portugal, wherever in the world you want to be, whether it's just, you know, back home in, in the U.S. And, and you decide, hey, I just want to change here. It's you following what you want to do so anyway with that being said guys as always take care of yourselves definitely take care of each other live your best life and guys most importantly do you